In this video, I'm covering one of the most popular cities in the Seattle metropolitan area, that's Everett, Washington. I'm gonna tell you all about what it's like to live there, take you on a little vlog tour, and give you just a general idea of what it might be like to live there if you're planning to move over to this area. Hey everyone, I'm Bryce Greenleaf. I'm a local real estate agent here in the greater Seattle area and I make videos all about what it's like living here in Seattle and its surrounding suburbs. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I love helping you guys out, answering your questions and helping those of you out that are moving over here, helping you find that right place for you to live, the right city, suburb, and then also helping you through that home buying process when you're coming over here. So. If there's anything I can do to help assist you through that home buying process as you're moving over to Washington State, feel free to reach over, out to me here at my info on the screen. Be more than happy to sit down and uh, come up with a plan for you, and hopefully make that transition a little bit easier for you. But like I said on today's video, I'm gonna go over Everett, Washington, what it's like to live here, what you should know if it's a, a spot that you're considering moving to when you're coming to the Seattle metro area. So Everett is one of the largest cities in the entire state and definitely one of the largest cities in the Seattle Seattle metropolitan area. So population currently is just over 112,000. This is the seventh largest city in the state of Washington. So in the Seattle metro area, you've really got Seattle as the biggest city, and then Tacoma and Everett are the next two large cities within the entire metropolitan area. So uh, it's got a downtown area. Um, it's, it's a unique city for sure. And in terms of an actual footprint, it's about 33 square miles. So it is a large area. It's located about 30 miles north of Seattle. So this is, you know, a 30 to 35 minute commute with no traffic at all. If you're going in heavier rush hour times, it can take you an hour, hour and 15 minutes, just depending what time of day it is and what day of the week. Um, but it is gonna be a bit longer in those rush hour times. So Everett was incorporated in 1893. It was as a major lumber center with a bunch of different sawmills. Um, so that was a reason a lot of people were moving over to that area. So you'll see a lot of older homes in this area because of that, some early 1900s homes in this area. After World War II, they trended away from lumber and more towards aerospace when the new Boeing plant was put in in 1967. So that brought a lot of people over here for jobs at Boeing. And that's what's really helped explode the city of Everett and make it part of that Seattle metropolitan area, that kind of anchor on the north side of that metropolitan area. Over the last few decades, this has grown a lot. One, obviously because of Boeing, like I said, but also just because of the cheaper cost of living in Everett compared to Seattle. So a lot of people, like I said, in the past few decades that have gotten jobs in Seattle have decided to move to Everett in the Everett area because they can get a lot more bang for their buck when buying a home. And that's been true for the last few decades. So um, while home prices, of course, keep rising, it is still a cheaper place to live than Seattle. So in order to digest this large city and explain it to you well, I'm gonna separate it into three different areas. North Everett, Central, and then South Everett. Um, so we'll go through each of these three sections and give you an idea of what it might be like to live there. So starting on the North side, North Everett, we're gonna start north of 41st Street. So this is your historic, your downtown area. So this is where you're gonna see a lot of those craftsman style homes, you know, early 1900s, some colonial homes, um, a lot of great, look, beautiful looking architecture. And you're gonna see some skyscrapers in the downtown area not nearly as many as Seattle and not nearly as large, but some larger buildings in the downtown area for sure. As you're driving through downtown, you'll see a lot of businesses. Um, you'll see some restaurants down there, some great places to eat. Funko is down there. I know that's really popular with a lot of people. You'll see some multifamily uh, living opportunities like condos and apartments and whatnot. So it's a pretty good sized downtown area and that's part of this north side of Everett. So on the very tip of Everett, the very north side, it's surrounded by uh, the Snohomish River, and then it goes over on the west side, you're on the Sound, you're on the Puget Sound. So um, it's a beautiful area when you're looking over those views, those water views, it's a really nice area to be. Some of the, the most popular spots in the North Everett area are of course the Naval Station. So you may be coming over here if you're stationed here at the Naval Base, a lot of people come over here for that. So that is on the North Everett side, on the west side, obviously right on the water there. You've got some nice waterfront restaurants right by the Naval Base as well, Lombardi, and Anthony's are my two favorite. Lombardi's being Italian, Anthony's being seafood. Two great places to eat right there. Also on this side of Everett, you've got Providence Hospital. So this is the largest hospital in the Everett area. So 
If you're gonna be living in Everett, this is likely the hospital that you're gonna be going to. They've got uh, Everett Community College. There's hotels everywhere. Um, you've got the Angel of the Winds Arena. So there's some sporting events and whatnot, different types of events at this arena in downtown Everett. No, no professional sports here, uh, but some minor league stuff that goes on here at the Angel of the Winds Arena. So here on the north side of Everett, the median home price for residential homes is 535,000. And for condos, the median price is 260,000. So uh, not super expensive when you compare it to Seattle and some of the other surrounding suburbs. It's a good amount cheaper than some of those larger, more expensive cities in this Seattle metro area. Now this could range anywhere from 375,000 for a small two to three bedroom home that's a little bit of a fixer uh, in the downtown area all the way up to you know a 3,000 square foot home closer to the west side closer to the naval base with a view and water 3,000 to 4,000 square feet you know around 950,000 and everything in between so like I said that median price is right around 535 but there are of course plenty of options uh, below that and above that as well again like I said these are going to be a lot of craftsmen and colonial style homes from the early 1900s so they've got a lot of great character great curb appeal to them uh, and beautiful homes along with that of course with being older homes there are a lot of rundown homes in this north side of Everett as well. So when I mentioned, you know, homes around 375, 400, there's going to be a, a quite a bit of, of fixers, homes that need a lot of work that have not been updated in a long time. So uh, there's a wide mix of kind of both opportunities, some old homes that are absolutely beautiful, been updated and renovated, but kept those those wonderful characteristics to them. Um, and then older ones that have not been updated and are really run down. Um, so you get a wide mix of that in Everett. There's not really HOAs around this area. So um, from neighborhood to neighborhood, there can definitely be some, some lawns that are not kept, some homes that are ugly on the outside and whatnot. Um, but there are, of course, some beautiful homes, like I said, closer to the naval base on the west side with street or tree lined streets, some beautiful areas. So two neighborhoods here on the north side of Everett I want to go over is the first one is Bayside. So Bayside is on the west side, Port of Everett, again, kind of close to that naval station area. So like I said, they're beautiful tree lined streets, uh, older homes here, uh, early 1900s, craftsmen's and colonials, tree lined streets, just absolutely beautiful places. Some of them have views over the water. You have anywhere from colonial mansions to former mill worker cottages. So a wide mix of different homes in this Bayside area. Another neighborhood here, just south of downtown, a little bit more central, not quite on the west side there, but this is Port Gardner. There's also great views of the sound. It's a little bit closer to kind of the commercial area, businesses and, and restaurants and whatnot, and hotels, a little bit closer to all that. It's close to Everett Memorial Stadium, where they play minor league baseball and some other events as well, Sequoia High School. Um, so this is another popular area as well. Very similar homes, again, the older, more historic homes. All right, so let's move to the central area of Everett. I'm gonna go over here. This is south of 41st Street where we just were and then north of Highway 526. So here in the central area, you're gonna see much more contemporary and traditional architecture moving a little bit more away from uh, the colonial and craftsman styles. There's still gonna be some of that, but you're gonna, as we're starting to go a little bit further south, you'll see that the average you know, year built on these homes is gonna get more and more recent. So big boom in this area, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, a lot of homes went up in those decades in this kind of central Everett area. So you see a lot of those types of homes, whether they're single uh, level, what we call Rambler homes, which is just a single level or ranch style home. You'll see a lot of two levels, a lot of split level homes, a lot of tri-levels. Um, so there's a wide mix of homes in this area. There's also a lot of you know condo complexes and apartment complexes. They're all over the central Everett area. So if that's something that you're looking for, this would be a spot that you might end up looking. So there's a wide mix of different things in this central uh, Everett area. Median uh, residential home price is 580,000 and the median condo price is 375,000. You could get something as, as small as like a little two bedroom Rambler for around 400,000 and go all the way up to a $1.3 million, you know, three to 4,000 square foot home with a beautiful view. Um, so there's again, a wide range of different types of homes available here. So I wanted to point out Evergreen Way. Evergreen Way runs throughout the entire length of Everett and then further down south all the way to Seattle. So Evergreen Ways, we're going to see all the commercial industrial types of places. So you're talking like car dealerships and restaurants and small businesses and grocery stores, 
uh, apartment complexes, condo complexes, all this different stuff is gonna be right along this Evergreen Way that runs right through Everett. So in the central area here, you're gonna see much more of that commercial kind of multifamily type uh, homes available in this area. There's some residential as well, um, but you're gonna see a lot of that multifamily and, and apartment complexes and condo complexes in this Highway 99 area. So on the west side of this kind of central area of Everett, I'm gonna go over to the west side here. So the west side merges into another city called Muckleteo, but before you cross over those city limits and you're in Muckleteo, there's plenty of really nice neighborhoods within still an Everett address that are overlooking the water, overlooking the sound, absolutely beautiful homes. Again, these are gonna be a bit newer homes than compared to when I was up further north in Everett. So on average, a little bit more uh, newer construction in these areas. You know, you could have homes anywhere from the 1950s uh, builds all the way to new construction. Some, you know, older homes that have been torn down and, and newer homes have been built on those lots. So you get a wide mix here with some beautiful homes with overlook, you know, like I said, overlooking the sound and beautiful views. You've got a couple great parks here like Howarth Park and Harbor View Park. These are both right on the water. So Harbor View Park, you pull up right here, there's a big grassy field on top, you can see the sound, and then you can walk down to the beach so you can hang out in the sand, build sand castles, have a picnic, stuff like that beautiful area. Haworth Park is a little bit more popular. It's a little bit more busy. Um, there's a playground. There's again uh, the beach. You can walk over uh, the railroad tracks. There's a little bridge you can walk over and then you're right on the beach there. There's dogs and kids and families all over the place uh, down there at Haworth Park on the water hanging out on a nice summer day. So two pretty uh, nice places to go here in Everett if you want to check out the beach. Also here in the central side of Everett, on the west side, like I said, as you get closer to Muckleteo is where Boeing is. So uh, again, I mentioned Boeing, the big uh, you know plane manufacturer, a lot of jobs in this area coming, people coming over here for these jobs. Um, so Boeing is right here, kind of on the west central side of Everett. So right, you know, close to Boeing here, one of the, the uh, popular neighborhoods is Boulevard Bluff. Um, so this is again, like I mentioned, homes with a lot of views. Not all, not all the homes are going to have views in this neighborhood, but some of them will. Otherwise, you know, there's a lot of great homes in this area. Like I mentioned, uh, 50s anywhere to more recent uh, new construction in the 2000s. So wide range of homes available there. This is gonna feel a lot more suburban to you uh, than the north side of Everett that I went over prior. Uh, you're not gonna feel like you're living in the middle of a commercial district where there's a big hustle and bustle uh, and whatnot. You're gonna feel much more tucked back. You're gonna feel like you're living in suburbia quite a bit more when you're on this west side boulevard bluffs and that applies to this the second neighborhood of view ridge madison here um, you'll see a lot of again similar to boulevard bluffs you'll see a lot of homes anywhere built from the 50s and 60s to more recent uh, new construction in the 2000s um, so there's a wide range available but again going to feel much more suburbia in this area than you will elsewhere and the home prices over here are going to be a bit higher on this side because you are a bit more suburbia suburbia than they will um, on the north side of Everett or even central right along Evergreen Way like I was mentioning. All right, so the last section of Everett I'm gonna go over here is South Everett. So this is really south of uh, 526 where we just were. So this really starts with the Everett Mall area. So as you're driving down Everett Mall way here, you've got a Walmart, you've got Everett Mall, you've got Target and a bunch of other stores, some restaurants like Olive Garden and Red Robin. So another you know highly commercial area with all the different uh, stores and restaurants and businesses uh, that you'll need in the area. There's a lot of uh, condo complexes and apartment complexes all around this shopping area as well uh, for people to live. Um, so it's it's a popular area. Now the mall is definitely a subpar mall. It's not a mall I would necessarily recommend you want to go to if you're going shopping. It's pretty pathetic when it comes to malls. There's way better places to shop around here. Um, but there are a lot of stores all up and down this street, like a Trader Joe's as well, which is pretty popular and gets pretty busy. A lot of homes in this area that were built anywhere from the 1940s to brand new construction here in South Everett, just depending where you are. You could find a small two or three bedroom single level home, um, you know, that's eight, 900 square feet for about around 500,000 and then anywhere up to about a million for some really nice newer construction, four to five bedroom homes. 
So one of the neighborhoods closest to Everett Mall is Cascade View here. Like I said, you're gonna see a lot more, you know, multifamily type living. There is residential tucked back here as well, um, but there's gonna be geared towards a bit more uh, the apartment complexes, condos, things like that, duplexes, triplexes, and whatnot. There's gonna be a lot of those in this area. Another really popular spot within South Everett is Silver Lake. So Silver Lake here um, is a nice little lake that you can go swimming. It's not big enough for boats and jet skis and whatnot, but uh, plenty big enough for swimming. Uh, there's two different parks, one on each side of the lake uh, that have you know a playground and sandy area and a dock that you can the kids can jump off and go swimming and whatnot that you can take the dogs to, let the dogs go swimming. Uh, so this is a popular area. Um, there are plenty of residential homes all around here. Um, again, you'll see a lot of like 50s and 60s Ramblers uh, built homes. You'll see a lot of newer construction uh, neighborhoods um, and everything in between, which is a common theme here with Everett. Um, there's just, like I've always said, there's a wide mix of different homes available. You can even find manufactured mobile homes here really close to Silver Lake. Um, a lot of those have been getting torn out, bought up by developers, torn out and built brand new homes. Um, so not as many as there used to be, but there's still plenty of those available in certain parts around Silver Lake. All right, in the last neighborhood I'm gonna go over here in South Everett is the Silver Firs, Seattle Hill Road area. So this is gonna be outside of that west side towards Muckleteo, this is gonna be the next most expensive area. And similar to like when I was talking about that west side of Muckleteo, this is gonna feel a lot more like suburbia than the rest of Everett. So if you're somebody that's looking for that suburban, suburbia feel, um, and you wanna be within Everett, the recommendation would be you either want to be on this east side with the Silver Firs, Eastmont, Seattle Hill Road area, or you want to be on that west side closer to the Sound, uh, closer to Muckleteo in the west side of Everett. Those are going to be the two most suburban feeling uh, areas within Everett. So there are a lot of uh, two level homes, whether split levels or just traditional two story homes here uh, in the Silver Firs, uh, Seattle Hill Road area. A lot of homes built here in the 70s, 80s and 90s. They had a big boom in construction over here. Um, so a lot of great homes on, on good size lots, anywhere from 8,000 square feet to 15,000 square feet lots. Um, so good size for sure. Uh, a lot of people moving over this way recently. You can find these two level homes um, in, in the Silver Firs area, anywhere from like 625,000 to 850,000 is a good middle price point for some of those homes. You can find some rundown ones uh, for a little bit cheaper, but for the most part, if you're gonna be looking for a, a home that's close to move in ready um, on the low end, you're gonna be looking 625 to 650 for some of these two level homes, three to four bedrooms, you know, 1500 to 2000 square feet, kind of in that ballpark. All right, so this wraps up the three sections, the three areas within Everett that I wanted to go over. So, you know, overall Everett has a lot of parks, over 30 different parks throughout Everett. It's got four different golf courses. It's really convenient access because you're right on I-5, so you can zip down to Seattle really easily right on the freeway there. Like I said, for shopping, there's all the stores that you need in Everett, all the Targets and the grocery stores and even the mall there. Now, if you're looking to do uh, more clothing shopping, I wouldn't recommend necessarily the Everett Mall. There's a great outlet mall about 10 to 15 miles north uh, called the Seattle Premium Outlets in Marysville, about 10 miles north. Great place to go shopping. And then if you want a bigger indoor mall, uh, you can go to Linwood down there about 15 miles south. Uh, and that's a really popular area too. But your convenient access to everything. You can jump on Highway 2 right here and you can get over to Stevens Pass. So if you're somebody that, like, that likes to go skiing or snowboarding, you've got pretty convenient access to get over to the pass and just zip on one road all the way out there. Um, so Everett's growing a lot over the last de few decades. Of course, with Boeing coming in, but there's just so many people that have moved to the Everett area because it does have cheaper home prices than Seattle. Um, so a lot of growth happening in this area. But this wraps up my video on Everett, kind of what it's like to live here, what to expect when you're moving over this way. So like I said, if you've got questions when you're moving over here, you need help with that home buying process and making that move, feel free to reach out to me here at my info on the screen. Be more than happy to help you through that and see if we can come up with a plan. But feel free to watch either one of these two videos right up here for some more content on what it's like moving over to Seattle and living in the Seattle metropolitan area.